Hello, in this video, I will show you how to use ZBuilder Tools plugin for ZBrush. The button copy paint will store the poly paint of the model. I will make some fast paint work. Now if I click copy paint button, my current poly paint will be stored. Now for example, I will fill the whole model with flat color. As you can see the old poly paint is now gone. Now I just want to get my stored poly paint. I click on the button paste paint. And my stored poly paint return as it was. The button copy mask will store the masking of the model. I will make some basic mask. Now I will click on copy mask. My current mask will be stored. Now for example, I will clear the whole mask of the model. As you can see the old mask is now gone. Now I just want to get my stored mask. I click on the button paste mask. And my stored mask return as it was. The button copy groups will store the poly groups of the model. Now I will make some basic poly groups. Now I will click on copy groups. Now I will clear the poly groups by clicking the button group visible. As you can see the old poly groups is now gone. Now I just want to get my stored poly groups. I click on the button paste groups. And my stored poly groups return as it was. As you know there is an issue in ZBrush. If I lower the subdivisions of the model. And after that, I hire it again. The poly groups will broke. But this can be easy fixed. I just have to click paste groups button and my poly groups are fine again. The button copy hidden will store the hidden parts of the model. For example, I will hide some parts of the model. After that, I click on copy hidden button and the hidden parts will be stored. Now I will unhide all parts of the model. Now I want to see again, my stored, hidden parts. I click on the button paste hidden, and, it hide the stored parts. The button copy mesh will store the mesh. Now for example, I will make some changes of the model. Like sculpting on some areas. Now I will click on, copy mesh button. And I will make more changes of the model. Now I want to return my stored mesh. I click on the button paste mesh. And my mesh shape return as it was. The button copy history will store the exact history moment. If I click it, the present history moment will be stored. Now for example, I will make some changes of the model. Like sculpting on some areas, and painting with some colors. I am done with this changes, but I want to return to my stored, history moment. I click on the button paste history. And it returns to the exact stored, history moment. The button. Undo paste will undo the changes from the paste buttons. But keep in mind, it will work only for the last used paste button. For example, I will make some base poly paint. After that, 
I click on copy paint button to store the current poly paint. After that I will continue with the painting on the model. I finish, but I want to restore the old poly paint. I click on paste color and my stored poly paint is returned. But now I think that I like the poly paint before restoring. I press on the undo paste button and it undo the last paste button operation. As you can see now, I got again the same poly paint like before paste color clicking. The button clear all stored will clear all stored information. If I click it, it delete the information from active paste buttons. That's all, thanks for watching, and I hope you will find the ZBuilder tools, plugin, useful for your projects.